Good morning, Chris Vernon with Vernon Litigation Group. Today I want to talk to you about investment professionals, specifically about selecting an investment professional. And what made me want to talk about it today is if you look at the Naples Daily News, our local newspaper, or local newspapers around the country, you will see at this point in time, especially here in Naples during season, just tons of ads for investment professionals. My recommendation to you is do not select an investment professional based on who has the best ad or who sends you to the best seminar in terms of the steak you get fed or some other sales pitch. You really need to do your due diligence because the first step in avoiding a bad investment is avoiding a bad investment professional. And what I thought might help is just to explain that there are many different platforms of investment professionals. There's an insurance-based investment professional whose primary training is in the insurance world. Often that is very commission-based. There is a registered investment advisor platform, which is primarily and typically involves a payment of a percentage of the assets that they manage for you. There is the traditional broker-dealer dealer approach, which is what we used to think of as a stock broker. There are folks out there selling real estate investments where they'll sell you a piece of a real estate such as a hotel or other project and some of those aren't even licensed at all. So there's all these different platforms so you need to figure out what platform they're selling from because that'll give you an idea of what they're probably going to pitch to you or the type of advice you're going to get and then start to look at issues such as whether they have a fiduciary duty to you with respect to everything they address with you or whether they simply follow what's called a lower standard suitability rule. And there's a number of other issues, but the point is really do your due diligence as to who you might doing business with and do it based on something other than an advertisement in the newspaper. Remember, whatever it is, let's make sure our money's working for us and not for somebody else. Have a great day.